welcome you to the Master Wong Show. He is your host, Master Wong. Now you see it ready, slightly, put it into the plate like this. Okay, into the soap like the chopping pot. Lay them in there properly. So you can able to start to chop them up like proper. You know, like real chop them up. Big clavor like this and start to get some action into it. Okay, so wait for a second. And then we're going to start to play with the beef. So how are you going to play with it? Get in a good, just a good position, okay? When you cut nicely and just uh, hmm, slide them, right? slide them better, yeah? Slide them. Yeah. You see, nicely, not like fully cooked yet. You see what I mean? So it's not nicely done, and then you put yourself in the middle like this you see now see so still got blood yeah that means that's lightly rare so it's gonna be perfect done clean them out get rid of all the blood you know sometimes when you cut people up you need to get rid of all the blood so people don't even know that you've been cutting people up yeah get rid of all this evidence nicely done yeah so no evidence left okay so that is your dish for today. It's called steak with vegetable. So that's what is it. Check it out and you can see, taste nice. And when you eat loads of that, then you know you've got a lot of power on you, okay? That's what is it. Three dimension. Place the beginning. Okay. Got some fresh herbs. Hi everyone, it's Master Wong here again. Coming to our Master Wong here. It's a Wong can cook. Okay, this show here, we're going to talk about very basic, simple for dinner today. Now, I don't I only cook the way it's going to be eat healthily. So I'm not going to cook have too many sauce and too many rubbish shit into it. That will mess you up. So let me see what we got here today. So steak. Okay. So nice. It's going to be organic steak. If you can, if you can, then get free range. Okay. Good free range steak. Nice. Yeah. Then some vegetable with it. And I will chop some little bit onion up to here to add it on to make it a little bit more green into your food. So when you're eating, when you're cooking, when you're eating, try to have more green, okay? More green into your food. Nicely, you know how to chop by now. Big, nicely like that, mix it in. Okay, and then try to have some Avocado. avocado for you to have some nice texture coming in so you can have some meal so it's gonna be good okay so basically again very simple very easy don't overkill them peel them and make them look good okay nicely done Basically, don't want to chop it down. Nice like that would do. Okay, so that's your avocado and everything else on that. So what you want to do now is seasoning your beef a little bit. So cut up the garlic, one of this, in half. Okay, just nice and rough it in to keep them nice flavor to the beef, okay, to the steak, nicely, rough it in a little bit, like that, okay, and then what you want to do is season them a little bit, so put some nice soap like 
Thais o Oregon. O Oganda. Oregana. Okay, something like that. The blood is so much wood on this. It's just like difficult to really print them out. I know it's herb, so it's nice. Okay, so just nice in like this. And then try to have a little bit of salt. Nice organic sea salt. Himalaya sea salt, okay? Nicely. Don't overkill them to get them good taste, little bit on it. Okay, so like that. That's all you need for this. And then have some nice little tea. So now you add a little bit of pepper into it as well to bring the taste out. Not too much, just a little bit. Because sometimes when you eat, depend what you like. I eat my quite uh, soup like rare. Not too, not too, um, not too cook. Okay, not too fully cook. Because beef is fine. We use that to cut them in. So let's come over here. Heat up nicely. Turn the fan on, okay? Using organic coconut oil. Nicely on here. And make sure evenly up them first. Fill the evenly up. Now it's nicely hot. Take your beef out from here. Keep them nice, so like, stand up like this first. I want to be nice and good on the side there before I start to cook the other side. Yeah. So it's a nicely good. A little bit more. I like the fat on the on the um, steak nicely and a good size of the steak you know nice good size you don't want to get a small one you know what i mean so nice good size of the steak yeah. turn it up nicely done when you start to working with this big steak here get yourself one of this They just don't want to come out. And make sure, evenly done, cook them well. So I want, might want to sort of like a medium rare or something, you know? I don't want to overkill them. When you cook steak, yeah? Leave the hot, like hot. Don't cook them slow, cook them quite hot like that because you want to seal both sides and in the middle. So like this. Make sure the other side is done. Yeah, you see, you can smell nice, yeah? So now, turn it over. Okay, see that? Now you see the grill, it's been cut it into it. Nicely, yeah, yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay, so now when you're doing a steak like this, how do you check them? It's so like it's like cook or not, it's using your hand, you know, like like pressing it, you know what I mean? So that is like well done, so like medium, so like rare, so it's so bit rare, so it's so like medium now, so ish. Not too medium yet. Give it a bit of time. So let's seal both sides. One more time. I think that's quite good. Turn it off. And leave it in there for the rest. Leave it to your beef. Rest for five to ten minutes first. You don't cut them just yet because otherwise it's going to be too uh, so black, difficult to choose. Yeah, you want a nice tender. So we've got left to rest like anything. When it starts twining hard, you need to spend time resting. Balance it out. If you don't, then it's done. It's not going to be good. Okay. So when you're having a rest, you know, 
may you sell a cup of tea? Chinese green tea, you know? Yeah. And then wait for a second. Why you doing that? Dish it up here. Put some vegetable first. Why you doing that? So now, depend what you want to eat. I love green. So I'm going to have loads of green on mine. Okay, because that's what I like. Green. Loads of green. Um, because sometimes you, 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 you can make it so many things with it. You can eat it with the rice. Chinese, you can eat rice with it. Okay? Or you want it to be loads of green. I, I just don't like rice too much. I like my green a lot. So I will be doing like this. And I'm going to cut it, slice them, and put over here. Now you see it ready, slightly. Put it into the plate like this. Okay, into the soap like the chopping board. Lay them in there properly. So you can able to start to chop them up like proper. You know, like real chop them up. Big clay like this and start to get some action into it. Okay, so wait for a second. And then we're going to start to play with the beef. So how you going to play with it? Get in a good, just a good position, okay? When you cut nicely and just uh, hmm, slide them, right? Slide them better, yeah? Slide them. Yeah. You see, nicely, not like fully cooked yet. You see what I mean? So it's not nicely done, and then you put yourself in the middle like this. You see now. So it's still got blood. Yeah? That means that's slightly rare. So it's gonna be perfect done. Clean them out. Get rid of the blood. You know, sometimes when you cut people up, you need to get rid of the blood. So people don't even know that you've been cutting people up. Yeah, get rid of all this evidence. Nicely done, yeah? So no evidence left. Okay. So that is your dish for today. It's called steak with vegetable. So that's what is it. Check it out and you can see. Taste nice. And when you eat loads of that, then you know you've got a lot of power on you. Okay? That's what is it. Now you see when you're getting nice done like that, the taste is on the food when you taste it. It doesn't matter how good or how bad it looks. If it tastes good, and then go from there. Let me have a quick taste first. Nice and easy. Hmm. Nice. But the problem is, you wait a year because you're cooking it. It's gonna be taste nice. I'll bring something. Bobby, I got some one of my friend here. She come along. Expert critic of yeah. delicious so, healthy food, right? Okay, Bobby, how about Tyson? See what do you think? Okay, so I'll have a piece of rare one. And my favourite avocado. Mm -hmm. Oh man. That's the thing when you start to let it rest. Do you know what I mean? It's so, really juicy. That's it. When you let it rest, then it tastes better. If you start it very quick and start to eat them right away, they could be bad because they don't taste very well. It's like very juicy, a very um, what do you call that? Very. It's tender, succulent. All the juices is inside. And it's nice. So that's why you have to dry them out and test them out. So I got Bobby here. She's gonna do another dish in a minute to go full on this, so you can understand what is it. So what are you going to cook in a minute? Okay, so I'm going to create something I cooked on Got's Lunchbox. Just super healthy, super quick, super easy. Okay then, get ready? Yeah. Okay, get your ass out there, get your finger ready, and then we can start cooking. Okay. Hi everyone, now I have Bobby coming in here to go full some of the dishes, so you might love it to do. So, Bobby, come along. They just started with it, like mess around with her weapon, the wedding knife. See how dangerous that is? Chinese girl with this knife and got them, this thing here is going to be dangerous. So you're going to stay out of the way, okay? So Bobby, what do you want to cook today? Okay, I'm going to make something super fast, super nutritious, and it's quick, easy, and super healthy. We have here 
beautiful, beautiful lamb cutlets. This is from the rack. Okay, it's been resting for a while because you want the meat to really uh, rest so that it's room temperature. This means the results, we have super tender, amazing, juicy meat. Okay, we're gonna marinate it very simply with curry powder and harissa and some salt and pepper to your preference. Yes? Then we have a vegetable chow mein, but this is gluten free. So we're making the chow mein out of the vegetables. So we have here already prepared the butternut squash linguine, which we bought from the shop just to make it simple and easy. But I'm going to show you now how quick and easy it is with this spiralizer. Okay, so we've got this from the shops and we have courgette. So we're making courgette or I made this word up, corgini. Yes? Garlic. Lots of flavour, good for killing bacteria, amazing superfood. This will add a lot of aroma. Great smells around the house, you know, gives you garlic breath, but no matters, no one's going to kiss me anyway. We have here red onion, beautiful colours. It's going to have the, the, the red, the orange, the green, so it'll be beautiful. So rainbow colour, yeah? Rainbow colours, we're going to eat with our eyes, eat with our nose. The taste with our tongue. Okay, then. let's get on with it then. Let's see how all the work is. So okay. let's start. Let's start. Season. So lots and lots of curry powder. Harissa. Harissa. Now this is tomato paste with lots of lovely mm, aromatic spices, herbs, Moroccan spice. is amazing. I know you don't actually need a lot in Harissa, but yeah, that's it. Pat. One spoon, yeah? One spoon. That will do. Aww. A little bit there, lots and lots of flavour, how you like it. Okay, and now the most important thing is to rub and massage it. It's very important to make the meat lovely and tender. So really, really give it a good rub. You put all that flavour. Did you wash in your bloody hand, Bobby? Yeah, I did. You did? I did. I just saw you go to the toilet and did wash your hand. <laughs> I did. You did? <laughs> of course I washed my hands. I washed my hands after as well, see. Give it a good massage, you know, this is how you do it. Well, we move on to the chow mein. So have you used one of these before? This one here? No. Spiralizer. Uh -huh. Not really. I used mainly a knife. Nine. nine. Well. Uh, <laughs> hand, chop it up. We want this super quick, super fast, so we need some tools. So in life, sometimes you need to invest in some tools to speed up the process, okay? Okay, so how does that work then? So I'm going to shove the bum into some spikes, Yeah. push it right into here, right? right. And then you're going to spiralize it. So we're just using that as a you just touching, turn it. Just touching them. So you've never used this before in no. your life. So you're a spiralizer virgin, yeah? So just nicely, go like this. Yeah, pushing it in. That's it, work it, work it. Simple, super quick, right? Yeah, so it make it much more easier to work with, yeah? Very so nicely turn them, stir. When people are lazy, that's the best way to use it, is one of this. See, now it's cut. Work with your arm. You exercise at the same time. Yes, yeah? get fit and so get, at the same time. So make yourself nice and useful, okay? So get some tool like this, will help you. Yeah, burn. <laughs> Let it burn. enough? Nice bit here, nearly done. Just my so just do a bit more and see one bit here. You know what that look like? Some of you maybe think of some wheelie. That's what it's going to look like. You see? Nice, small wheelie. If it's you, some of you got that size, it's going to be a problem. Okay? It's going to be a problem. So now it's done, yeah? yeah. So that's your chow mein. Ah, so beautiful green. Going to add some lovely yeah. green. You don't need that anymore now? No, I'm going to go on a little bit more seasoning and get this chopped up. So, garlic. If you have some anger issues, you can use cooking to help you. So it's good therapeutic style. And when I mean therapeutic, what do I mean? Bash! Bash the garlic up. That took seconds. No peeling, no fat oil. Our beautiful red onion. And 
And again, this is going to add lots of aroma. Love. So we're going to heat that up in the pan now. Ready? So we're ready to cook the lamb, beautiful lamb chops. We've got a very hot, hot pan. If it's not hot, you've got a problem, it's going to stick. So I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil. Oh, and coconut oil is great for the skin too. I'm going to use that to moisturize my hand. Are you flipping serious? Yeah, coconut oil is the best. Anyway, let's get this on. It's going to be really hot. So you put the... Um... I'm going to put it on the side here. I want to get this nice and crispy. It's my favourite part of the lamb as well. Excellent. And then what next? Okay. This doesn't take long at all. So I really want it to be nice and hot and crispy. You see those seeds? Beautiful. One side. Sear it. Sear it. I love my lamb pink. So if you're pregnant or you just like it, well done. That's your choice. This is beautiful. Beautiful. You see? You will lift up. To rest, or you're gonna cook it to when it's dead? <laughs> you need to get. Crisscross it, looks beautiful. The lamb. That look nice. Yeah. The harissa, got that beautiful golden look. Curry powder again, that's a beautiful sunshine type glow. Now you really need to leave the lamb to rest for a good few minutes, okay? This lets the meat absorb the juices. If you cut it or eat it straight away, the juices are just going to run. So if you want tender, beautiful meat, let it rest. Give it a break. So take it off the heat. And let it rest. And then you start to add all the vegetable on. Okay. So I'm just carrying on the line a little bit. Amazing. We add our vegetables. Flavor. Just a little bit before Scott turns me off. 
Too much charisma. No charisma. Adds a bit of a tick, a bit of a spice. You're going to put it in the plate now? Let's play. So now it's done, yeah? Just want to top it up with some beautiful fresh uh, parsley. Oh, parsley? Parsley. Okay. It's great superfood, lots of antioxidants. You ready to taste? Okay. Oh man, I can't wait to taste this dish. Mm -hmm. Stop! Let me have a taste first. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Let me see, see the really a good added look. Have a look. Pink, nice and pink. That's really quite nice. Yeah. Mm. Lots of flavour. Mm. Aromatic. Mm. This is what you're talking about. Not bad. Very good. So now you know how to cook the lamb, the beef, the beef steak, the lamb. Now you can start cooking and try to impress your girl. Okay. And if you don't able to impress them, they won't give you any action, then you're going to have a problem. So if you like this sort of video, then follow, subscribe to me, and follow Poppy on her Facebook here. And, and then she will be able to teach you some tip on cooking. Subscribe to me before your enemy do. Otherwise your enemy will mess you up, and you won't have any more power left, and you don't get impressed any of them, then you'll have a problem. I will see you on the next video. Comment at any and if you want to know any more, comment and let us know and we will cook for you. Bye bye, people. Bye.